Y'all remember when our parents told us not to grow up too fast because we was gonna have to pay bills? This is the video that we're gonna talk about today. If you're interested, stay tuned. So first, I wanna thank my PNC for putting me on the Amazon train on the t-shirts. I love this shirt. It basically says educated, motivated, elevated, and melanated. So shout out to you PNC for showing me this. All right, so if you remember when we were kids, we always wanted to grow up super fast, which means that like, we wanted our own apartments, etc. Well, today's video is gonna talk about what I wish I knew before I moved alone. This is more of a um, video that's gonna talk about like finances and what I wish I knew before I actually got my own apartment. So I've been living alone um, for almost six years and then, um, like it, it it was great i love living alone like i love having my own apartment cleaning up after myself nobody to worry about cleaning up after not sharing anything as selfish as that may sound they always say your 20s is for your selfish years but like start building my savings and then of course i made a few bad financial decisions so i bought a new car car note went up then rent went up and at the time i was working as a, le a floor leader at um lush but they weren't paying me a lot to be able to afford car note, car insurance, and rent. So that was like some days I was like like asking for money, which is super hard for me to do because like I'm used to being a person that gives to other people. So that was hard. So um, fast forward to 2019, um, my dad got a job out here um, and my mom uh, came out, like we wanted her to be around us, of course. So we basically like, they were like, oh yeah, if you want to move in, you can just move in with us. You can just move in with us, which was like, ooh, like I was like, dang, like, I don't know. But then I was like, you know what? Yeah, I think I'm going to do that. And I will tell you, it was one of the best decisions of my life because I'm able to save, like I'm almost hit my savings goal that I want. Um, So what I wish I knew before I lived alone was how to save, what was priority and what was not priority. Like buying the car was not a priority. I just wanted a new car and I wanted it in my name, pride. Um, What I also wish I knew was how to like budget. Like I have parents who like my dad is okay with budgeting. My mom is like okay too, but like if she wants something, she gonna buy it. Like if she wants her nails done, she gonna spend it on that. And like that's how I grew up. So whatever I wanted, I just bought for myself. And it was at times that like I would spend my last on things and not have money left over for like certain necessities. So basically, I would have waited before I moved to Houston because I went to Houston on a whim. Like literally, like decided a month at like. I graduated December 16, 2016. I moved here January 4th, 2017 to Houston. And what's crazy is like, I had no savings. Like I didn't even have a job officially secured. I kind of got lucky with that. And I did take a leap of faith. So I don't ever regret that um, because I just, you know, I prayed about it and that's the way that God wanted me to go. So that's the way I went, honestly. Um, but I wish I did have more of a savings. I also wish I knew more about like, you know, okay, well, you get an apartment, so it's not just rent. You got to pay rent, utilities uh, out here in Houston. They don't always have washer and dryers, uh, so you have to pay for, like, those rentals. You got to pay for internet and cable if you want that. So it was a lot of stuff that I wish I should have researched. So I will say, like, don't try to grow up too fast. And if you have to, like, move back in with your parents, like, there's nothing wrong with that. Like, I was being prideful at first, but... My parents wanted me to move back in and I'm grateful to have parents that like actually, you know, love that I'm here <laughs> um, and I get to be with my my pets and, you know, they're together. So it, it's really cool. Um, but I do get to save up and I started being a little bit more responsible with how I spend. Like during Lent, I haven't bought anything like I I stopped spending money on like things that I did not need because I didn't need it <laughs> for one. Um, but I, I started writing it down as well, too. So I have a journal dedicated to my finances and I'm a little bit old school I do like to physically write hence the blog um so I started writing things down like okay like this is what my this is what I have in my check-ins this is what I have in my savings this is my debt um and how do I pay that off so now I'm out of debt um with like credit cards the only debt I have is my student loans of course um but I'm out of debt with credit cards and things that were on my taxes before I went ahead and just paid those off um, and I think that my parents, I'm so grateful 
to have parents that like allowed me to do that because now I'm in a really good place. I was able to finish school. I was able to like just do everything that I needed to do. So I do highly recommend if you have anybody you can move in with, don't be prideful. Don't try to rush to be on your own. You're going to be on your own for a long time. Um, but I will say try to get your finances together before you do so. I hope that helps somebody and I hope y'all are staying safe during this quarantine. My prayers are with you and your families. I'm sending you love and light. Peace.